Hey folks, good evening. So I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit uh, about a little bit more content that we're covering this week. Um, this week we are covering so much content that's going to be important important for how you plan your speeches and how you write your speeches. Um, and right now I just really want to talk about the difference between writing for public speaking and writing for an English class. Okay. So it's really important that you acknowledge that we write we write for these two things very differently. The good news is is that writing for public speaking is actually much easier than for an English class. So one of the first things that I want to stress with you all when you write a speech or when you're writing your outline for a speech, you should absolutely 100% write it how you talk. So I know in English class sometimes we focus on like big fancy words and things in our vocabulary that we're not used to using because it's impressive or whatnot. Um, and I think that that's not the case for public speaking. Because if you don't write your outline or your speech how you talk, when you deliver that speech, it's not going to come off naturally. It's not going to be easy to remember, and it's just not. It's, it's not going to feel authentic. So one hundred percent, you just write how you talk in public speaking. Point blank. Um, also, you want to make sure that when you write for public speaking, you think of words that sort of perk up um, interests. Something that um, paints a picture something that um, entices the audience. So you want to make sure that you think of those colorful words, the colorful language um, that you can incorporate into your speech. Um, another thing is brevity. Uh, when you write for public speaking, you don't want to have these big, long, drawn-out sentences. You want to be as concise and impactful as possible, specifically if you have a really short time frame. Um, for our class, you do not have a lot of time to get a lot of information out, so you really need to be concise with your writing. Um, and that's why it's really important to stick to uh, your outline and really plan what you're going to say. Don't write out your speech word for word because of a speech that you read sounds read and it's boring, um, quite frankly. So <laughs> unless you're really excellent at delivering um, and that's a different type of speech, but more often than not, um, you want to be concise, you want to write how you talk, and you want to use colorful language. And so that's how writing for public speaking is different than writing for an English class. Um, so I hope that this helps you when you guys are writing your speeches, um, and I hope um, this sticks with you uh, for in the future.